been showing you all, if you're just waking up, if you're just seeing this, and the maybe you're in Hawaii and you're waking up now, I, I don't know, but look at this. This was a sit-in to protest gun, they want a vote on gun control. These are House Democrats, a sit-in, 1960s style student demo right there on the floor of the House of Representatives. Our next guest says they're fighting totally the wrong thing. Just listen to this. You will find them talking about radical Islam. Radical Islam killed these poor people. Did you hear that? Did you in the background there? Radical Islam. The man shouting that is was Congressman Louis Gomez, who is with us now. Yeah, you made quite an impact there, but that was political theater yesterday or overnight. And now you tell me this, Louis. Did they successfully? change the debate from terror to guns they have to a large degree a lot of people are talking about guns instead of talking about the radical islamic movement that is that is killing americans like the 49 down in orlando and and as i asked some of them on the floor okay so he used the gun in orlando but if you're going to be consistent you got to be banning pressure cookers because of what happened in boston you, we, it's not going to do us much good to keep banning whatever new weapon they use. Okay. What we got to do is protect ourselves from radical Islamists. And you were bringing up the very important issue. We were given information that 81,000 people are on the no-fly list, but a thousand of them are Americans. There are vast numbers of people who are coming in this country who are a threat to Americans. My goodness, more Americans are going to need better guns the way this administration is failing to protect us. And well, Stuart, I got to say this, an earlier guest was saying these antics in 2008, comparing them to now. I started that in 2008. The only rule that was violated there was by Speaker Nancy Pelosi. We were entitled to make five-minute speeches, unlimited number on that last day before the August recess. When she saw a bunch of us ready to make the five-minute speeches, she inappropriately, breaking the rules, gaveled it adjourned and refused to allow us. Okay. Lynn Westmoreland and I are standing there and Lynn says, what are you going to do? I said, I came to give a speech. I'm giving it with, with or without the mic. He said, I, let's do. And um, that's it. But we never broke a rule. We never kept okay. anyone else from going into Louis, session. I, this is unprecedented Louis, what got, they I've, did, I've violating got, all kinds of rules. I've got 20 seconds left. J okay. Act as a reporter, will you? Tell me, are they still sitting in on the floor of the House? Yes. They are. Okay, so it's not they're over. They're still over there, and they're still disrupting, still violating okay. the rules. You can't film. Okay. You can't sing. All these things. And the sergeant at arms said, well, you guys, when we tell you you're violating the rule, you stop. These people, we keep telling them, but they keep violating all these rules. All right, Louis Gomez, thanks very much indeed. We appreciate you being on the show, as always, Thank Louis. You. We do. Thank Love you very you. much.